Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to another kind of speed build type of video. This isn't like our regular speed build because as you guys can see, this isn't in The Sims 4 and it's definitely not in The Sims 2. We're actually going to be like renovating and fixing up and furnishing one of the buildings in The Sims Medieval. So if you guys missed this, I did start streaming The Sims Medieval on... I think, yeah, I streamed it on Thursday this week, and by the time you guys are seeing this video, I will probably have streamed it yesterday as well. But yeah, I recently got The Sims Medieval to work again on my computer, and I haven't played it in years, like literal years. <laughs> so, I had so much fun just getting back into this game, and we've actually progressed quite a bit, you know, from when this video is going up. But yeah, we've progressed quite a bit, we have quite a few buildings in our kingdom and everything and if you guys didn't know how the sims medieval works if you guys do ever want to catch me playing this live i probably won't be doing like a let's play about it on the channel or anything like that but if you guys ever want to catch me playing it live i play it live over on twitch and i let you guys know when i'm going to be playing it over on twitter but yeah, my Twitch and my Twitter link is down in the description if you guys want to check it out. But basically, The Sims Medieval is like a medieval Sims game. It's not as like, op it's open world, it's completely open world like The Sims 3 was. But it's not as free play style, if that makes sense. It doesn't really have a storyline per se like The Sims 4 Strangeville does. It doesn't have like a set storyline or anything. But you have these like overarching like I guess like storylines or like main themes I guess of different challenges or different like save files and air quotes that you can play. And I mean you can play however many like save files as you want but you start off with one like scenario that you have to play out. And then once you complete certain goals for this like specific scenario, you unlock like different ones and so on and so forth. So there's this like huge like almost tech tree kind of thing that as you complete some of the scenarios, you unlock other ones with different stories and stuff like that. And the way you play is you basically play, you, you play through quests if that makes sense. So you don't like, you don't just go in and play with your sim a normal day out and you know do normal sim things you actually have a quest line that you have to play through and you can play with sims like your monarch your knight you have a spy you have a wizard you know you know both male or female doesn't really matter but you have a wizard you have a physician you have two priests you have a merchant which is actually what we're building today and then you also have a bard so like a musician basically but yeah, so we're going to be here furnishing the merchant's market today. So I probably should have mentioned that way at the beginning of this video. But yeah, I'm so excited about doing this and doing something different that I completely forgot to mention it. But as you guys can see, in The Sims Medieval, it kind of, building works a little bit differently. You can't really build. You basically just furnish like the pre-existing like houses or I guess the pre-existing buildings I guess I should say because you have these buildings and they're basically shell buildings so you can change the flooring and the wallpapers kind of like how apartments work in The Sims 4 actually you just can't draw walls on the inside so you can't change up the layout or the rooms or anything but you can change up the flooring the wallpapers you know all of the regular like furnishing stuff so yeah this is for a merchant and i do have a merchant in my game already and his name is fred weasley we decided that all of our merchant sims are going to be weasleys so yeah we have fred weasley and they basically have two, a two room like house so on the downstairs which we're working on now is kind of more of the communal type space so regular people in my head could go in here stuff like that so there's a b little bar seating a table and some food and that's it and then upstairs is more of like the main main living space so where the beds are the bathroom okay technically it's not a bathroom it's literally a freestanding bathtub a like wash bucket and a chamber pot so they literally go to the toilet in a pot but 
<laughs> but yeah, that's one of the like mini quirks of this game. We've been having so much fun with this over on Twitch, you guys. It's it's so different from any of the other Sims games, and the Sims in it are so I don't know, so funny and they say some of the weirdest things, like some of the like like I don't know what you'd call it, like the dialogue bubbles that pop up and stuff. They, they say some of the weirdest things like <laughs> it's absolutely insane and freaking hilarious but yeah we've been having so much fun with it <laughs> but yeah so we're basically just like furnishing or decorating or whatever you want to call it this merchant's market now i did do the inside and the complete exterior as well so you guys will see me change up all of the colors and everything, add a bunch of like clutter objects and I wanted to make it feel like a like kind of realistic merchant's market I guess or like I should probably just say market because the merchant is the sim that works here so yeah just a market like a little medieval market. I don't know how accurately I did it but I like the way it turned out it's very colorful and my overall like color scheme for the whole kingdom for this whole kingdom is purple because that's our royal colors I say in air quotes but then the merchant I kind of give all of my sims their own like personal favorite color so for Fred his favorite color is blue so most of the furniture inside you know the lot is blue and then they have quite a few like blue flags and stuff like that outside as well but yeah, now you guys will just see me go through and put in a bunch of clutter. There's some of the like funniest clutter objects in this game. Like, I'll probably show it off more when I do buildings like the Wizard's Tower or the, like the Spy Quarters or something like that. But <laughs> there's some really weird things in this game like skeletons and cages. And there's just some freaky stuff in this game, honestly, because it is supposed to be a medieval based thing so obviously in those days they were a little bit freaky so <laughs> yeah so there's a bunch of fun things that i can't wait to show you guys but yeah let me know if you want to see more of these medieval like renovations because like i said i probably won't do gameplay on the channel because the way the gameplay works in medieval you play through quests and I just don't know if that would be super interesting to do in a YouTube video. It's much more fun to do it like on stream with you guys. But I would love to do some of these like renovations on like for YouTube. Like in YouTube videos. Because I can't really do them in game like on stream. Because they take me forever. <laughs> because we have the color wheel. As you guys could probably have already tell. But yeah we have the color wheel and create the style like we did in The Sims 3. So building and stuff when you have... A color wheel and create a style takes you so much longer than it would take you to just furnish a normal build in like the sims 4 for example so yeah that takes me a little bit long to do <laughs> but yeah i think i'm gonna do like maybe like the reception hall next so like the big reception hall in the castle i'll probably do that that one next and then i hope you guys want to see more of these because I want to post more of these. I don't just want to post Sims 4. And then at some point I do want to get back to some Sims 2 videos as well. But yeah, I've just been having so much fun. And I love that streaming has kind of allowed me to play more with some of the other games. Not just the Sims 4, if that makes sense. Even though we do play a ton of Sims 4 on the, like on Twitch. I, I've only played Sims 4 on Twitch except for Sims Medieval. So... Yeah, but I hope you guys like how this build turned out. It's almost finished. There's not too much left to do. I just end up adding in a bunch more clutter outside. I kind of put down these, I think I put down three tables or so that just has a bunch of like cloth on it. So kind of like it's a fabric market. And then on this side by the like luxury stall that has all of the luxuries and jewelry and stuff. I put a few more items like vases and some jugs and stuff so kind of to look like they have their inventory just stacked around their little like stall area kind of like how I did with the with the food stall and the like armory like armor stall so 
yeah i hope you guys like how this turned out if you did give this video a like and if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see some more sims content feel free to hit the subscribe button and remember to turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever i upload a new video but yeah, like I said, if you guys ever want to catch me live, I'm live at least twice a week over on Twitch. And I update you guys over on Twitter as well about when I'm going to be live because my stream schedule isn't like set in stone. So I usually try and stream on the same days, but a lot of the time I'll just, you know, move it out up a day or like postpone it a day. And the times and stuff tend to change as well. So yeah, I keep you guys updated over on Twitter, but I hope you guys like this video and that you're having an absolutely amazing, amazing day. And I will talk to you on my very next video. Bye guys.